what's up everybody today i will teach you the ict daily bias the ict daily bias is important for all type of traders for swing traders and for day traders for swing traders it's important because if you determine your daily bias at this point you can enter into a swing trade and you can target the buy side for day traders it's important because if you know your daily bias is bullish you will enter with big size into your longs and you will enter with short size into your shorts because your daily bias would be towards this point so uh, it suits all type of traders it's important for all type of traders this strategy can be used on everything if it's forex crypto or if you are trading indices okay the rule is the same and in this lecture i will be using the euro usd chart and i will be using the 4 hour chart so now let's jump straight into the lecture so the first thing in this strategy is that we have to mark the highs and the lows on the 4 hour you can see that we got a high here we will mark this high okay and we got the low here so we will mark this low so i will write here one by one every step the first step is mark the swing high and the swing low okay this is the first thing that we have to do now the next thing that we have to wait for is the sweep of either the highs or either the lows so i will write it here again the second step is wait for the sweep wait for the sweep so in this case you can see that we got the sweep of the lows not the highs so we got the sweep that we were waiting for so we got this swing high and swing low and the next thing was waiting for the sweep we also got this sweep so here the question comes into mind is that a market structure break or if it's just a stop loss hunt which is also called the turtle soup the turtle soup is a stop loss hunt so in order to determine if it's a market structure break or if it's a turtle soup we will use our third step which is the third step is to look for smt divergences okay look for smt divergences ict uses this smt divergence concept in 90 percent of its trades you cannot trade without smt divergences now uh, where you have to look for these smt divergences at this area at this bottom you have to look for these smt divergences at this point now i will explain what is smt divergences so in trading we have got some correlated pairs uh, what do i mean by correlated pair like if the price of one pair goes up the other one also goes up and if one goes down the other one also goes down so in this case we are dealing with euro usd so the correlated pair or smt pair is gbp you can see this is the gbp chart so you can see that if euro price goes up the gbp also goes up and it also made this high okay we will mark it and it also made this low so you can see this is a correlated pair the price goes up the other one also goes up now what is smt divergences what happens in smt divergences is that one pair sweeps a low okay and the other one don't like in this case you can see that once this low was made you can see that this candle this black or green candle this was swept by this candle okay the price came down and swept this previous candle and here you can see the same candle was made here and here this candle wasn't swept okay and you can see that the price automatically went up now what's the psychology behind smt divergences so here you can see that one pair swept the low now how is it bullish it is bullish because the other one didn't sweep this low it means that this one swept this previous low just to hit some stop losses which have entered into their longs here and they have put their stop losses here so this one has hit all the stop losses that were put here and we got this smt divergence how is it a divergence you can see that here it swept the low and we got this and here it didn't and we got a line like this so we got a sign like this and this is called smt divergence now that we have got an smt divergence our bias is bullish and we know that this is a turtle soup and it's not a market structure break but now there are certain rules for entries and you can see 
that this one has swept the loo again. So I will teach you how you can enter after an SMT divergence. So for entry after the SMT divergence, you have to shift to smaller time frames or you should shift to 15 minutes or you can also use the 5 minutes, 3 minutes and up to 1 minute. So now I will shift to 15 minute and I will show you what kind of structures forms here. Okay, so now I have shifted to smaller time frames which is 15 minutes and you can see that this low, this low was swept by these candles and here in GBP this low wasn't swept. Okay, so uh, I will write it here. The next step, the step number four after SMT divergence is, is that shift to smaller time frame. Okay, smaller time frame, uh, which is the most authentic is or the most accurate is 15 minutes. So you should shift to 15 minutes. And now what will be the next step? The next step will be finding an order block. Find an order block on 15 minute or 5 minute or 3 minutes. In this case, I will, I'm using 15 minutes. So uh, we will find an order block after this SMT divergence, which is this area. And you can see that here we got this order block. How this is an order block. You can see that we got down closing candle, a series of down closing candle. This one too was a down closing candle. And then the next candle was bullish and it closed above this candle. Okay. So once it closes above this candle and you got a fair value gap here, See, this is the fair value gap that was formed. What is a fair value gap? Fair value gap is the gap between, uh, let me increase the brightness, uh, the gap between this, the bottom of this candle and the top of this candle. This is called the fair value gap. So we got this order block. This was the fair value gap. And once the price goes down into this fair value gap, this is where you have to enter into your longs. So your bias is bullish and you got an entry and your stop loss is below this swing low. Now what is your target? So your target will be the previous swing high that we drawn here. You can see we will uh, extend this line. This is your target. Okay. And you will see that we shift to your, you can see that we hit our target. Okay. The target was reached. Now as I shown you that in GBP we got another sweep so even if you enter here your uh, stop loss will be hit okay like this you can see that we got another sweep here now what will you do so why I entered into euro I entered into euro because we got the sweep in the divergence in this one and not in this one so it can always sweep these lows again as it hasn't hit the stop losses yet so I enter into this one and you can enter into GBP at this point. Once you get an order block at this point, you can enter into GBP and not here because in this case, the low was swept, the stop losses were hit. And in this case, the stop losses are not hit and it can always sweep the low again. And you can see in here too, we got this bullish SMT divergence. The low wasn't swept there and here the low is swept. So again, we got another divergence here. So here, once you get this divergence, after the order block, you can enter into your longs and target the buy side liquidity as we did here. Okay, you entered here and you exit here. So this is how uh, you can you determine your daily buys. Okay, once you get the SMT divergences and then you get an order block. This is where you have to enter and you should target the buy side liquidity.